Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. This time part two of our How Large Can a Party Be type of video. We're currently rocking 49, so just shy of 50 um, party members. And I promise you the last time that we're going Anything to, to declare. Uh, that we're going to actually fight a set of enemies that are going to be more difficult. So this is as difficult as it gets, reinforcements and plenty of soldiers. Well, let's go, baby. All right, this time we do have a war on two, respectively three fronts. So we have our camp of our real party over here at the very edge of the battlefield. I want to make sure that they are not as engaged in the proceedings as they normally are. Have a couple of kind of outliers. The dragons here are trying to flank. Then we have our main uh, battle uh, field in the middle, where we are uh, seeing predominantly lizards and a couple of dragons in the front, which are going to engage. And then just a lot of wolves, really. Uh, many, many, many of them. Uh, I think that the idea here will be uh, to maybe flank with a, a few lizards. Got an extra spare polar bear. Nope, uh, that guy is going to go down here and we'll take the flank uh, all the way down there. Okay, cool. Then we have a flank up here. Again, interesting, but I think the closed corridors will make it almost impossible for anything to happen. I'm going to see how that is going to turn out. And then a host of enemies over here. 51 versus 48 units and we're, do, uh, we're having reinforcements coming in from them. So, as always, let's start with dishing out the most damage. We want to focus on getting enemy archers down as much as possible. And just overall being an absolute nuisance uh, to them. So, no archers, uh, hilariously enough, no archers over here. Which means we are going to start dishing out some real damage against the front line. Um, so in absence of archers, I think we can all agree that multi-attacking enemies are the worst. So that lieutenant here unfortunately needs to die. Moves to here. Gives everyone orderly. And then really positions himself over here. Okay, cool. Should have maybe aimed for that lieutenant. Good, I'm going to clean up uh, this side as much as possible. Whilst we're going to see a harder fight on the other side. Listen, if I was to move in... I think we're just going to take this here. It's too good to not take it. Still have enough time to move back. I don't want to stand in the open again. Learned my lesson uh, from the last time that we did that mistake. We are standing way behind uh, the tank line and enemies are coming in on the other side. That's interesting. All right. I think now is a good time to do what I mentioned beforehand, which is start going in deep with uh, the tanks. Just want to make sure that we're not uh, clocking up that um, choke point here. Okay, that guy is irrelevant. Let's 
Swordsman. Resets movement, I like that. Go for the defender. Disengage. <laughs> oh! Never gets old. Can we get that guy? Yes, we can. All right, tank line is standing. Uh, and I think to pre deny them access to our back line here, uh, that's a perfect uh, spot for us. Yep, that's even a better one. Perfect. We are moving in. It comes at no surprise that this side here will fall rather quickly. I am fully expecting that our guys are making a very, very nice, uh, a very, very nice interaction with them. Uh, no, not, not yet, not yet. Um, So who else do we have? We have a tank. Might as well use our tank to move in. Why not? The side here starts to fall down. Oh boy. Even the tank is disrespecting them. Uh, yeah, well, I guess that gets to showcase just how strong one can become. Let's tank uh, this guy. And yeah, our tank front line is right where they need to be. The other side is more interesting because that's animals versus really high level soldiers. We're going to see how that uh, is going to play out. <laughs> Bears certainly are forced to be reckoned with. I that that damage is even good for endgame levels. Not as good as, say, a really well-equipped character, but nonetheless good. Good, we're going to disengage, is what I wanted to say. That's also one way of disengaging. And we're standing right behind the brood, so anyone that comes in will need to deal with us. Next up, enemies over there. Good, let's see. We still got the pugilist here. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. Do these guys have retaliation? No, they don't. Very good. Fabulous. Can we sprint over here? No, we cannot. Don't like it. 
Yeah, now we can. Sprinting is a weird mechanic. It's like placing uh, grenades in XCOM. You always try to wiggle your way to the right position. Okay, anyone left that can do something meaningful? Yes. Oh, yes. Let's start with this here. Blackout. And we're going for the weak uh, targets. The high DPS targets. as well kill him and make it hard for him to continue um, how about we're going for orderly and I think we're just going to keep the Valor we're fine Okay, anyone else? Yes. Couple of good hits. Heal and all of the animals will heal as well. What I notice is, um, with so many enemies, uh, we are simply running out of uh, space. Very good. Yeah, this side here, I would say, uh, one can safely conclude that that uh, side is one. It's just a matter of getting all of these guys down. Um, poison for you isn't bad. Two poison each is actually okay for a, for one Valor. Uh oh. These guys have measured counter response. Yeah, well, that's not good. Luckily, we can heal a little bit. Good. This here will be a slog fest on that uh, side. I don't. I cannot foresee how we can really get through this corridor. Somehow this foot soldier needs to die. We are starting to engage the enemies over here. Our dragon might die. Nope. Well power. Nah. Rip. Measured uh, response has taken its first actual victim.
That'll be rough because we do have a lot of wolves and wolves tend to win fights by critting. On the contrary, they did get a lot of poison damage in, so it was not their sacrifices were not in vain, as they say. time. Move in, move out. That's the name of the game now. The site here will become a more interesting battle. Because it's just animals against uh, against actual troops. They are doing their best to just clock this corridor. are dealing a lot of damage if you let them good job so this uh, flank is falling which means we can now start to get onto the other side I think it's pretty safe to say that these three four guys will not be able to withstand our mighty force Time to engage. This middle corridor is clocked as well. Not much happening. Uh oh. We might lose another dragon. Good, let's hit both of you because you definitely want to be poisoned and then we're getting the hell out of here because that's measured response, right? No, he does not have it and he does not have it either. Okay, cool. These guys are not uh, not as much of a problem as I thought. Yeah, destabilization on a bear is as useful as a waterproof tea bag. Might as well tail slash again and then start to engage. Very good. The problem uh, with the animals is we can't really get our DPS to the front line, right? So look at that. I'm trying my best, but this is completely clocked. So effectively, it's a couple of them fighting against a few bears and lizards from our side. Granted a boar with their unstoppable charge might be able to do something, but other than that, I don't see a lot of potential here.
Yeah, we need wider and more open battlefields in order to make this composition work, but I, this is already a, almost as open as it gets, right? So besides plain uh, fields, there isn't much more open uh, battlefield than this. Well, there we go. The next victim. Measured response? Yep. Yep. No. Okay, cool. Well, we're going to take the only one who doesn't have measured response. Starting to engage with the lieutenant here. Oh, a couple of... Animals that can just get this guy down. Measured response is really a big problem. That's countering our group very, very much. New meta includes uh, hard countering animals with measured response. Yeah, I don't want to test our luck any further. Almost done with the first turn. <laughs> it's his own front line. Captain Gabner, you fucked it up. Now, I don't want to risk uh, Reg Reggie Kren. Good, that's round one. Let's see what kind of reinforcements we're dealing with. We still have the numerical advantage, but as you can see, the animals are not doing that well. I got a few reinforcements here and there. Two over here. A few over here. But we still have the numerical advantage. That's interesting. And we just found out that reinforcements are actually uh, hard-coded and not based on the size of your team all right run round number two so let's get this party started we want to make sure that this side here is going to be all right but the new defenders are coming in so that's a bit of a problem we're diverting forces we anyways need <clears throat> more bears on the other side uh, the bears can take a bit of punishment so that's fine they're healing enough uh, to actually tank the defenders everybody uh, everyone else except uh, the bears are unfortunately not good enough as defenders Cool. Good, yeah, that is not a problem. Let's uh, begin to get these guys down, shall we? Very good. Our tank build is a perfect counter for them. 
because we are retaliating as well and <clears throat> we just uh, hit harder. So it's slowly but surely making our way over there. We definitely need to deal with that lieutenant down here as well. Cool. So this upper flank, we're going to be in a world of pain because a single wolf will not be able to tank all of them. But I want to get these guys first. Good, that's one dead. Second one down. And we almost have cleared that entire flank. Well, see, that's the problem. We're likely going to lose that wolf very, very soon. Fugilist uh, begins to take out that foot soldier. Very nice damage. And there are going to be a lot of retaliatory strikes here. I don't like that, but I think we should be okay. We can't die from counterattacks. But we are in the dying state, almost in the dying state. Um, luckily, we just got him down. So, Pugil is not the best character to actually deal with uh, these guys. Um, how about we're standing in the middle here and we're just being healed, and then that is fine way too much damage for my liking but one flank is now officially secured uh, I would like to heal every uh, every animal and also the pugilist Good. Every single animal just got some healing, including that wolf. Nine points is not a lot, though. Okay, look, these two here need to die. So what's going to happen next? But I am pretty sure everybody on this right hand side will not be able to reach them in time. Maybe the polar bear, but we first need to uh, open a corridor for him to actually move. So more reinforcements to the top, please. Damn it, this lizard is blocking our way. I messed up. Could have gone all the way at least to the defender. My bad. Okay, let's disengage here. And we're moving in deeper. Unfortunately, we can't really get past these guys, so the sad truth is we will need to tank a couple of uh, them and just hope that this is going to work out.
In the meantime, let's use our backline in order to deal some damage. Just lost a wolf. That's unfortunate. Close the flank. Oh boy. Lizard is immediately at willpower level. So we can't let him con uh, continuously tank. We need a bear up there. This is such a slog. Uh, this is really a clown fiesta if there is, has ever been one. Ouch. We're dealing... The dragon here has, way, has taken way too much damage. That's unfortunate. Let's get that phalanx soldier down. on willpower okay at least we're applying poison sticks so I guess there is some advantage the the retaliation is uh, too much for our animals to actually take down dragon is on willpower and we lost another dragon that's unfortunate. Can't tank with a with a swine. It's not going to work out. Rather dealing some damage in I'm going to wait over there. Another dragon just went down. And another polar wolf is almost down. Holy, well, that's not looking great. More reinforcements. Um, I think another lizard might do the trick. Supporting this flank. More casualties, unfortunate. Like I mentioned before, this upper flank here is not looking very good, mainly due to the retaliatory strikes. We don't have a lot of counterplay. Luckily our bear is just uh, standing uh, there like an absolute monster giga chat. Gets healed in the process. Good, do we have anyone down here? This bear has already acted. All of these guys are done. It's a hard fought battle. Another alpha wolf moves in. Nicely hits the defender. And we're applying bleeding. Oh, 
<laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, that bear had enough. Good, we are reinforcing the front line here. More meat for the meat grinder on the top. And the biggest problem with these bi uh, with these uh, large scale fights seems to be that you're running out of movement options. It's his friend. Just makes the bear more angry. Good, we're moving up the rest of the troops. And the polar bears is always like if that uh, game footage shows anything then it is potentially that uh, bears are still extraordinarily good in what they are bringing to the table. Good. The actual team is starting to move up. Oh, and another flank is uh, starting to open. I like it. What I don't like is the number of injuries that we're suffering. be a long run now nah, too long on the other hand listen why not why the heck not moves up as far as they can Just barely out of range, unfortunate. All right. Wow, hits for three hundred fifty. Oh boy. And their captain this time hits his first shot. Or her first shot, Captain Gabna. Next round is starting. Uh, we do have problems up here. Like, this is not looking great. We do have 14 stacks on this bear. If we disengage, that's going to be a problem. 255 hit points healed, that's all we can do. We can just stay where we are. The sky. He does have Counter-Strike uh, repost, so don't want to do that.
Moving up here. Healing some hit points. Okay. But we want to help the bear. We can do that by actually bringing in reinforcements that are going to be helpful. Hmm. Two strikes will be a bit too much for the dragon, but I don't think that we have an option. Never mind, the wolf is going to die. The counter attacks, man, I'm telling you. Trying to support that upper flank. This is going to be a return attack. No, for once that was a normal hit and not a crit. More damage. He's not quite down yet. Okay, well, that's a cost, costly fight on this uh, side. Good, let's reinforce the flank over here. It's like a hundred little skirmishes that are happening at the same time. Didn't expect that. What I can say though is the bears are absolutely crushing it. They barely take any damage and their damage output is really, really good. So they are... Oh, he now went berserk? Holy... You don't want to mess with a bear once he is in berserk state. So we're going to engage this guy. Hopefully, we're going to deal enough damage. Does this bear... Uh, is this bear having enough survivability? I think what we need is a heal for everyone, so Beastmaster Archer moves up. Forces a nice attack, which is great. And then ends turn, which should have healed everybody. Yep, that bear took around 100 healing, which is not too bad. We take whatever we can get at this point. Good, Polar Bear is now ready to get into the flank. 
Very good. I think it's not a question whether or not we're going to win this. It's more a question of are we going to win it um, decisively or not. And the jury for that is still out. Destabilizes him. Get, uh, got him to zero guard. Fantastic. Love it. The Silosaurians are good. Uh, we need to, still need to deal uh, with this side. Good, we're moving in, trying our best just to get uh, these guys down. And we need a tank on this side. Uh, Saurian might be the best uh, chance that we do have. That defender has measured response, so we're just going to chill here. Moves in. And we're good. Good, all of these guys are dead. Uh, what can we do up here? We even have someone who can still act. That sorry and could theoretically act, but can't move anywhere. We're going to get reinforcements. Moving closer to the front line. Yeah, the injured wolves, I think we're just going to leave them back where they are. They can zoom in once um, we have engaged with the enemy. Yeah, the defenders are still a problem, but our bears can take care of it. Uh, we might lose one though. That northern flank doesn't look great. I do have an idea. How about we get an actual tank up here? And whilst we're at it, we're getting more reinforcements oh boy bear is close to death but not quite there not yet the spearman here would be phenomenal because he could counter attack every single time anyone attacks the bear Nah, I can't do that. The wolf is too fragile. Takes one hit and will be down. Alpha, same, uh, same ordeal. If the defender is not engaged, these guys have measured response. Yeah, the defender is not engaged. There is no point in even trying this. Good, we're just going to get his guard down. Whew. 
okay, well. Unfortunately, we do not have first aid anymore. Use that already. We're continuing to move up. The pugilist is more or less out of the fight. Took too much damage in getting that one retaliating guy down. Wow, he built up 26 rage 6. How much rage do we have here? Okay, well, not that much. For whatever reason, the other bear has 26 rage sticks, which is enormous if you think about it. Good, we're going to get to that last flank. Question is, are we going to lose that lone white bear that has heroically held up all of the enemies. On four, he's still standing. He's still standing. Good, the enemy captain is completely hopeless. And now, last chance to get him down. Oh, they almost took uh, the dragon instead. Okay, cool. So listen. This here should be interesting. For starters. For starters, we do have a lot of damage that we can dish out. Let's save the bear. Operation saving private rhyme. In this case, operation saving private bear. Funny how damage stacks up if you're just letting it uh, stack up the entire time. Good. Ooh, we got that entire flank completely mauled down. Okay, <laughs> that's the difference between animals and actual companions. So where is that 26 stack bear? Right here. Okay, so this is going to hurt. Let's see how he does. We're up to 30 stacks. I've never seen that many stacks on a bear, ever. Uh, I need one of the lizards to apply fragility. First disengage, we can take the hit, that's not a problem. Then we're moving to here. That foot soldier is bleeding. A 
and should die actually no so close down to 20 hit points okay fair enough What we can do is, since all of the wolves are skilled to regain hit points when they kill someone, yep, we can just kill uh, this guy and heal back up. Cool. All right, where are the remaining enemies? So that defender is continues to be a problem. We're moving out. Let's see how well we're dealing against uh, the, another tank. Well, see, he's not really hurting us a lot, even with the retaliatory strikes. But we are definitely shredding him. And that wasn't even with galvan uh, galvanizing strikes. Let's disengage and let's position ourselves over here. Okay, cool. Time to engage the archer. Uh oh. With galvanizing strikes, uh, even uh, the animals start to have a lot of raw power. And that's it, guys. That was 50 versus 50. Let's take a look. Um, we had some losses. Two wolves four dragons and a polar uh, wolf so that's seven enemies uh, seven uh, companions rather sorry and 36 enemies we got a couple of uh, interesting loot items but nothing that would be uh, worthwhile your time unless of course you enjoy these uh, kinds of uh, skirmishes in which case uh, go uh, go and knock yourself out all you need to do is spend about an hour to uh, collect all of the animal companions and uh, then have a lot of fun with them. That's it. Please let me know um, how you liked mass battles. Is this really the biggest party that you can build? And if so, what uh, would you do? Would you take 50 soldiers? What's your party set up? Let me know and have a great day. Take care. Bye bye.